Hey guys, I hope that I'm live right now. If you guys are able to listen to me properly as well as there is no issues with the audio or the video, please do let me know. Hello everybody, I hope that I'm live right now. If you guys are able to listen to me properly as well as there is no issues with the audio or the video, please do let me know guys. Guys, if there is any issues with the audio or the video, please let me know. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. No issues. All good. Okay, that's that's great, guys. That's great. So, how is everybody tonight? Please let me know. How is everybody tonight? Please let me know. Is everybody all right? Everybody all good? Great. Amazing, guys. Amazing. So I hope that many of you must have attended some of our previous boot camps as well. For many of you, this might be the very first boot camp that you are attending that is being conducted via DevTown. So please, guys, do let me know in the live chat how many of you are new to a boot camp that has been conducted via DevTown, guys. Please let me know. Can you guys let me know uh, how many of you are coming to a bootcamp for the very first time that has been conducted via DevTown? Okay, a lot of students are coming for the very first time. And that's great to hear as well that many of you are new to uh, the bootcamps. No issues in that, guys. You will have an awesome time and a very smooth time uh, throughout the bootcamp. You don't have to worry about it. Do let me know guys from which college year and branch are you from? For example, I was from BIT Mishra CSC and now I'm passed out 2020 or uh, 2018. So please do let me know uh, from which particular college, which particular branch and which particular year are you from? Chandigarh University, BIT CSE, okay, so, uh, IT Kanpur Civil. Okay, MIT AI ML. Okay, so a lot of people are from uh, PICT Pune CSE. We are having people from JBIIT Triple E 2022. BIT Chemical. We are having KIT Ghaziabad. Okay, so a lot of students from all over the country have come to this particular bootcamp. That's really amazing to see as well. Okay. <clears throat> For those who are not able to get the information of this particular bootcamp, haven't been added to a WhatsApp group, do not worry about it, guys. You guys can join the Telegram channel. The link for the same has been provided down in the description of the video itself. So if you want uh, regular updates to the bootcamp, you can join that as well. You don't have to worry about it. Okay, guys. Awesome. Awesome. So we have a lot of people from uh, Medicaps University as well, Hindustan College. Um, that's great. I'm currently studying in DY Patel third year AIDS branch. Okay, that's great. You're having uh, Delhi University, BBD University. Okay, amazing guys, amazing. So let me introduce myself as well. Okay. So my name is Sharasana and uh, I have been a part of DevTown. So I'm one of the co-founders at DevTown. I've uh, been a part of companies like Reliance, Geo, Vastnel, Google uh, as a data scientist, as a data analyst, as a full stack engineer, as a software engineer as well. Uh, along with the same, I used to teach on behalf of Google. I used to go to different uh, college campuses and you, I used to teach topics like uh, AI, data science and full stack to the students as well. So from there, my interest grew in uh, teaching uh, and as a hobby right now, I'm a software engineer, but as a hobby during the evening itself, whenever I get time, I take these boot camps up for free. Okay, so that if, if students are interested in learning new technologies, they are able to do that in these boot camps themselves. Now, these boot camps have been brought to you in collaboration with Microsoft Student Learn Ambassador Program and uh, Google Developer Groups. So we have uh, our association with these two um, like uh, organizations and you will be getting certified via these three organizations that is DevTown, MLSA and uh, Google Developer Groups. So that is a very short introduction to the boot camps themselves. 
now i am able to understand a lot of you are having questions related to uh, how to get the attendance where to get the attendance what is the process uh, procedure of attendance how to get the certificates which certificates are there what is the criteria of getting certificates so i don't want to waste your time right now so whatever are the answers to these questions we'll be discussing that at the end of uh, today's class not right now okay we'll be having it at the end of today's class and not right now so that right now we are able to focus much more upon the theory upon the practical things that we are here to learn okay and then we'll be answering all these questions are you guys able to understand this please do let me know guys are you guys able to understand this please do let me know is everybody able to understand this guys please do let me know great so along with the save i will show you guys first of all the certificates that you will be getting so if you are going if you have a linkedin account so linkedin is basically a social media platform for professionals okay that are there so we have our own uh, account that is the shorison account as well as the dev towns page as well as you are able to see right over here okay so there if you are able to so we have currently 22000 followers on instagram on the dev town page and i personally have almost i think so 3200 and uh, 32500 followers on uh, linkedin so the certificates people usually whenever they get the certificates they tag us online as well for example this was the previous bootcamp that we conducted on front end web development with html and css where the students learned how to build an instagram clone from scratch okay so this was the project that they built so along with the same i'll show you guys the certificates that you are going to get at the end of this particular session as well so let me show it to you guys give me a second okay so the, he has just posted the mlsa uh, one give me a second i will just find somebody who has posted all the certificates okay so this is the certificate that will be given to you at the so this is the arrays and data types with java bootcamp that we had conducted last month okay uh, so this is the google developer group certificate as you are able to see on my screen right now okay the next particular certificate that you will be getting is from the microsoft learn student ambassador program so this is the certificate that you will be getting for that and then you are having uh, the dev town uh, completion certificate that is there okay now regarding the certifications we are very strict with that okay so if you are missing out on any of the classes you will not be able to get the certificate if you are not completing the project so we'll be so during these seven days i will be teaching you everything okay i will be expecting nothing from you i won't expect whether you should have any type of prerequisite knowledge or not the only thing that i want you guys to understand is what i'm speaking if you are able to understand my english that is more than sufficient for you to attend this particular boot camp otherwise everything else from the programming language to the theories to the technology everything i will be teaching you in the class itself at the end of the boot camp i will also be working on a project in front of you so you will be able to see the project that i am building i will be asking you to build the exact same project okay so those students will be having <coughs> complete live attendance as well as the same project that i have built they will have to build that as well only those students get the certificates so those students who are saying in the live chat that this is fake don't believe them all this kind of shit linkedin is a social media uh, platform you can just go and check how many certificates we have distributed up till now only those students who are having live attendance and who have completed the project get the certificates because we want to make sure that these certificates have value if we start distributing these certificates to everybody then it will not have any value on your resume that is the reason why with the certification process we are extremely strict okay so i will again tell you guys once again okay the uh, all these certificates that are there how to get these certificates what is the criteria of certificates what is the attendance attendance criteria all that i will be telling you guys at the end of today's class not right now at the end of today's class are you guys able to understand it please do let me know guys so those students who are asking questions like how to get the attendance or something like that 
please let them know in the live chat just help them out that whatever these questions are i will be answering them at the end of today's class and not right now okay right now we are going to start with our studies so let me just open up uh, the notes that you guys are going to use sign in okay i'm signing into my github account uh let me open up python and machine learning we need to import in concepts in python no uh, for any of our boot camps to get the certificates you have to attend the sessions live although the recording of this session will be provided to you but if you are not filling up the attendance form live okay when the class is going on or according to what i have said then you are not going to get the certificates okay I'm so sorry for that. Actually, I'm having a bit of a, a cold type of structure itself. So I'm not able to talk properly as well. So let me provide you guys the uh, link to the notes of this particular session, guys. I provided the link of notes in the live chat. I pinned the link uh, of the notes as well. So in the live chat, you will be able to see a pinned message. That message is supposed to be your notes for this particular session. <coughs> that message is going to be the notes of this particular session, guys. Okay. Uh, so those particular students who are uh, who want the access to the notes, you have to click on this particular link. Okay, that is there in the pinned in the live chat. Okay, live section uh, chat section itself. You can click on this particular link. It will take you to the notes section where i have created these notes for you if you want to revise something or if you want to uh, learn something at any point of time you will be able to do uh, it through these notes it has been made in a very detailed manner so you don't have to worry about it <coughs> are you guys able to understand this please do let me know questions related to the ai bootcamp i previously stated for the past four days the messages has also been sent to you and it will be covered during this particular week itself we need some time for the same okay so please do not disturb the class for those who are asking questions related to the attendance okay we'll be answering those questions at the end of today's class itself okay uh, so down in the live chat, okay, as you're able to see in this live chat, the link for the notes has been pinned down in the live chat, guys. So you will be able to find the link for the uh, notes in the live chat. Okay. The class timings will always be from 7 to 8.30 or 7 to 8, guys. okay so right over here once i have opened up the notes uh, i'm able to understand that most of you might not be having a laptop to practice whatever you are learning so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use google collab okay so instead of uh, writing our code locally we are going to use a particular tool via google that is called as google collab now for those guys who are having a smartphone they will also be able to code and practice uh, the entire stuff that we are learning okay so google collab is basically let me just open it for you first of all so you can go to google and search for c-o-l-a-b collab okay so google collab is written right over here this is the website that we are going to use now as you're able to see this is not a software Okay, it's a website. Okay, it's a website where you are going to go and code. Now, a website can be opened up whether you are having a particular laptop, you are having a tablet, you are having a mobile phone, any particular device that you are able to connect to the internet and use a browser on, you will be able to open Google Collab as well. Zuno is not a part of our company. We have no affiliations with any companies uh, like Zuno or anything. We have affiliations with only two companies that is Google Developer Groups and Microsoft Student Learn Ambassador Program. Okay, we have affiliations with no other companies, guys. So right over here, as you are able to see, 
Google Colab is a platform, is a website where you are able to write your code on the browser itself inside of a website. And then that code is sent to the servers at Google, the computers at Google's uh, offices itself, where it is run. And just the output of that code that is being running, that is sent to us and shown to us. Are you guys able to understand this? Please do let me know. If they are sending messages to you, just ignore them. Okay. Uh, Zuno is not at all affiliated with DevTown. They are using some illegal methods. Okay. Great. So let's continue. Uh, so that is the short uh, information about uh, Google Collab and why we are using it. The next thing that I want you guys to do is here as you are able to see, we are having examples, recent Google Drive, GitHub. Now, please do not code along with me. Please do not code along with me. Listen to what I'm doing. Okay. After the end of today's class, go back and then code in that particular way. You will be able to retain a lot of information. You will be able to revise stuff as well. When you're coding along with me in the class, you will not be able to listen to me properly. Then you will be missing out on concepts. Okay. So please do not do that. So right over here, you can click on uh, GitHub and then inside of GitHub itself, what I want you to guys to do is I want you guys to go and open up the notes that I've given to you. Okay. Click on this particular link. It will open up the notes for you. Once the notes have been opened up, I want you guys to copy the URL of the notes. Okay. Copy the URL of the notes. So I've copied the URL of the notes and I'll come back to Google Colab. I will select GitHub from right over here. I will remove whatever has been written in this particular text field. I will paste the URL of my uh, notes right over here. On the right side of the uh, uh, like fill in the blanks, you'll be able to see a search button. Click on it. Okay. Click on it and that will open up your notes in Google Colab. Okay. That will open up your notes in Google Colab. Once again, I will not be repeating this because I don't want you guys to be coding along with me. Do not waste your time doing that. You can open this up once again after the video is over. Okay, at that point of time, practice as much as you want because right now you will be wasting your time and my time on this particular stuff. And I don't want that. Okay. Are you guys able to understand this? Please do let me know, guys. Great. So let's continue from right over here. Okay. Those who have a computer as well, please use Google Colab because you'll have to submit your work using Google Colab only. Okay. Okay. So let's get started. So before uh, we Indians feel it to be very auspicious to eat curd and sugar before starting <clears throat> with anything new. <clears throat> Before starting with anything new, we Indians uh, usually like feel very, like it feel that it is very auspicious to eat curd and sugar before starting anything. Okay. In a similar way, we programmers as well, before starting to learn a new programming language, try to write hello world in that language first. We feel that this is very auspicious for us. Okay. This is very auspicious for us. So let us try to do that first of all. So before starting to write our code in Python, we will be printing hello world in Python itself. Now, uh, artificial intelligence bootcamp, why is it on hold? Because of some internal issues that are there. Okay. We are not being able to shoot the video for the AI bootcamp. We will be doing that within this week. I've already said that please do not disturb the class any further. Okay. And uh, yeah. So we'll first write print hello world. Okay. We want to print. We have to print in Python. Hello world. So for that, we use an inbuilt function in Python. This particular function tells Python exactly what to do here. That particular function is your print function. Okay. So this tells the Python to print something on the screen. Okay. This uh, basically tells Python to print something on the screen. Now to print that, what we want to print, we want to print hello. Okay, we want to print hello world on our screen. So what we are going to do is we are going to uh, use the uh, inbuilt function in Python called as your print function. Okay, 
uh and then we want to print hello world on our screen okay there is no uh, semicolon at the end because this is python this is not like the rest of the programming languages you don't require that if you are easily reading through this as well just like normal english you will be easily able to understand that this is uh, printing hello world on your screen so to run this particular line of code what you can do is you can click on this particular button okay on the left hand side this play button that you are able to see if you are clicking on this run anyway it is currently connecting you to the back end it will allocate you to the, some resources to initialize you okay so uh, we have to wait for like a minute or two so how to do project uh, silver fang like i have already told uh, questions related to project and uh, attendance will be answered at the end of today's class not right now so as you are able to see we have printed hello world on our screen okay the next particular method of running this particular line of code should be you can click on control enter okay you can click on control enter or shift enter both of them will work okay control enter or shift enter both of them will work are you guys able to understand this please do let me know guys Are you guys able to understand this? Please do let me know, guys. Okay, so every day you will be having classes for one to one and a half hours. Today is the first day, so for the first day we'll keep the class shorter. Okay, today you will be having class like for fifty minutes to one hour itself. But from tomorrow onwards, the class will be of one and a half hours. Okay, so that will be the duration of the class itself from seven to eight thirty. And if you are not attending the class live, you will not be able to get the attendance as well. Okay, so the next particular thing that we are going to do is we are going to look at the print function in Python. Okay, we are going to look at the print function in Python. So we just saw the use case of the print function where we printed hello world on our screen. Right over here we are having two plus seven. Okay, we are having two plus seven. When we are running this particular line of code, Python knows that okay, two plus seven is nine. What to do with this particular nine? Okay, the code is over. There is no next line of code as well. So the Python just puts this nine on your screen. Okay, the Python just puts this nine on your screen because this is the last line of code. It has calculated. Okay, two plus seven is nine. It has nine on his hands. Now, what to do this with this particular nine? I don't know. Is there any other code to run? No. So I'll just put it out on your screen itself. Now, if I am writing two multiplied by seven, okay, I am writing two multiplied by seven right over here, and then running this particular line of code. First, it is calculating. Python is going like, okay, two plus seven is uh, nine. I have nine in my hands. Okay, what to do with this particular line? Nobody has told me. Okay, the next code is okay. Two multiplied by seven. Okay. So I kept the nine somewhere. Now two multiplied by seven is fourteen. Now I have fourteen in my hands. What to do, do with this particular fourteen? I don't know. Is there any next line of code? No, there is no next line of code. So I'll just put this fourteen on my screen. I will just put this fourteen on my screen. So I'm not getting that nine, but I'm able to get this fourteen. To get the nine on the screen as well, you will have to explicitly tell Python. what to do with that particular nine i want to see it on my screen so you will have to tell python that print this nine okay print 2 plus 7 so 2 plus 7 is 9 python has nine in its hand but you have now telling python that print it on the screen okay print it on the screen itself if i am running this right now you will be able to see that we are getting nine as well as 14 on our screen Now it, this is although this is working, you are getting fourteen on your screen as well. But this is not the right way to do it. Okay, this is not the right way to do it. Why is that the case? Because if I am writing more lines of code, then I will not be able to see this fourteen uh, also on my screen. So if you want to see something on your screen, you have to tell Python explicitly. that okay print this to my screen so the right way of writing these two lines of code would be to enclose to multiply it by 7 in a print uh, statement as well now this is the correct way of writing the code okay this is the correct way of writing the code 
Now in the next seven days, we are going to learn Python. We are going to learn NumPy, a bit of Pandas and machine learning. These are the four topics that we are going to cover. The project that we'll be doing, we'll be doing it in the class itself. You don't have to worry about it. Okay. And that will be a machine learning related project as well. Are you guys able to understand this? Please do let me know guys. Sir, I have a doubt uh, like this class is for machine learning. Why are we learning Python? That's the exact same thing that I, sir, this class is about running, but I don't even know how to sit properly. Okay. I don't even know how to stand. So I will start by making sure that you are able to sit, then you are able to stand, then you are able to walk. Only then you will be able to run. To learn machine learning, you have to have good knowledge in Python, Pandas and NumPy. Only then you will be able to implement a project in machine learning. Otherwise you are just a big buffoon and you don't want to be that. Okay. Okay, great. So next particular thing that we'll be seeing right now is a particular topic that is known as variables. Okay. Variables is a very important topic in every single uh, programming language that there is. Okay. It is very important in Python as well. There's no doubt in that. Using variables in place of direct numbers have a various uh, advantage. Okay. Let us try to understand that first of all. So let us try to understand why variables are so important. Let me open up paint. So right now we are looking at, we want to understand basically what are variables and why they are used. Okay. So let's uh, try to understand this. Let's say that you are a software engineer. Okay. Let's say that you are a software engineer. So this is you right over here you have recently shifted to bangalore and you have taken a house on rent okay so let's say that you are a software engineer in bangalore of course your salary would be awesome so your salary okay your salary is let's say one lakh rupees per month okay your salary is one lakh rupees uh, per month okay uh, the next particular thing uh, the next particular thing is your rent okay the next particular thing is your rent right now so let's say that your rent uh, is 20,000 rupees, your rent, uh, the P PG that you are living in or the house that you are living in, the rent for that is 20,000 rupees per month. Let's say that you also have an EMI of a bike. Okay. In Bangalore without a bike, you cannot roam around in the traffic. So you have taken up a bike and uh, the EMI for the bike as well is 20,000 rupees. Let's assume that. Along with the same, you are a software engineer, you like to go to the gym. So your gym membership fees is let's say 5,000 rupees. So this is your expenses and your salary that has been given to you. Now, of course, you are a programmer by heart. Okay. From heart, you are a programmer itself. So you uh, don't want to sit every single month, pay out your rent, pay out your EMI, pay out your gym membership fees, calculate your taxes, paying out your taxes. You want to like, uh, how much are you saving every single month? All these calculations you don't want to do every single month. So you decide that, okay, this is not the case for me. I'm a programmer. So I'll program a program like a code itself, write some code that is able to do all these different things for me. Okay. That is able to do all these different things for me. Okay. So let us try to see what happens. Okay. So let's say that. Let's say that right over here, you want to add, uh, uh, you want to calculate your, uh, expenses. Okay. So your expense, uh, let's say you want to calculate your tax. Okay. So you start by calculating your tax itself. Let's assume that the rate of tax is 0 0.3. That is 30% right over here. So what you want to do is you want to 0 0.3 multiplied by salary. That is 1 lakh rupees. Okay. And you want to negate, okay. Your uh, rent, uh, your rent and your EMI as your tax deductible outcomes. So you negate your 20,000 minus 20,000 as your tax, uh, uh, everything you can evade tax on that particular amount. Okay. So this is your taxes. Now let's calculate your uh, expenses. So your expenses would be uh, 20,000 rupees. That is your rent plus 20,000 rupees. That is your EMI plus 5,000 rupees. That is your gym membership fees 
plus your taxes as well because tax is also a kind of the expense that you are having you are not able to save it so you want to add your tax as well right over here tax we have calculated so we are going to write the exact same thing right over here minus 20,000 minus 20,000 so that is your taxes as well okay now if you want to calculate your savings then you will have to write uh, again okay you will have to write salary so that is your uh, 1 lakh rupees minus your expenses that are there so i don't want to like uh, write it once again so i'm just going to copy paste it from here so control c control v let me just copy paste it right over here and that would be your uh savings itself that is how i'm able to calculate your savings okay now you have written all these code okay there's a lot of code uh, beyond that as well that you have written let's say that you have written 10,000 lines of code right over here okay just like this you have written 10,000 lines of code 0 0.3 that is your tax that you have calculated 30 percent tax okay uh, so right over here as you are able to uh, i will have to put this into brackets right now so that you are easily able to understand that this is the savings okay so now that you have written these 10,000 lines of code, your landlady comes in. Your landlady is a mean old lady, okay? She's a mean old lady that is there. And she comes to know that you are a software engineer. That is, you are earning big bucks out there. So she has decided that, okay, no issues. Uh, if you want to continue living in this particular house, I am increasing your rent from 20,000 rupees to 30,000 rupees, okay? I am increasing your rent from uh, 20,000 rupees to 30,000 rupees, right? over here i think so people are joining us late in our class or something like that because i've already explained uh so i will just tell you guys once again that the ai bootcamp there has been some slight delay due to some particular internal problems that we are having so once that has been resolved within this particular week we will be pushing out its video as well okay so you guys can please be cool about it okay already the attendance bootcamp certificate has been sent out for the project we are working on it it will take some time there's nothing that we can do about it okay and of course these are free bootcamps so if it is taking time it is taking time this is not something that you are paying for okay so we have told you guys that it will be done we have told you repeatedly it will take some time but it will be done okay please do not disturb the class okay uh, so let's continue from uh, from right over there itself now as the landlady comes in and she has told you guys that okay i'm increasing the salary from twenty thousand rupees to thirty thousand rupees now you are also like this is a great society i don't want to leave you uh, i will have to shift all my furniture and everything so it is also not comfortable to you so i've decided okay i will pay the extra like ten thousand rupees and i will okay it's fine with me if you are increasing the rent now the problem with that is that you will have to go back to these 10,000 lines of code. Okay, you will have to go back to these 10,000 lines of code, change all the rent from 20,000 rupees to 30,000 rupees. That's a huge amount of work that you have to do. Now some of you might be very smart. Some of you all... Some of you might be very smart. Some of you might decide that yeah, it's fine okay what i will do is i'll just go to that particular file where we have written all the 10,000 lines of code okay i will do a control f i will do find and control r control f that is find and replace all the 20,000 rupees to with 30,000 rupees i'll find and replace all the 20,000 rupees in the file with 30,000 rupees but can you guys think about it what is the problem that you will be facing right over here can you guys think about it? What is the problem that you will be facing right over here? If you are doing control F and control R, find and replace all the 20,000 rupees with 30,000 rupees. What is the uh, problem that you will be facing right over here? Can you guys let me know? Exactly. The EMI will also change. The EMI is also 20,000 rupees as you are able to see right over here. Okay. Your EMI is also 20,000 rupees. So if you are doing find and replace all the. All the 20,000 rupees that is the EMI as well will get converted to 30,000 rupees. And that is not something that you want. So due to this particular fact, instead of directly using. 
I'm so sorry. Instead of directly using numbers, instead of directly using values right over here, the programmer has done a separate stuff. Okay, what he has done is it's a he has assigned a nickname to each of these values. For example, the nickname for one lakh rupees, the nickname for one lakh rupees is S A L. The nickname of twenty thousand rupees is R E N T. Rent. The nickname of this 20,000 rupees is EMI. The nickname of 5,000 rupees is Jim. The nickname of 0 0.3 is Rate. Okay. And he has used these nicknames instead of values right over here. So rent multiplied by salary minus uh, uh, EMI minus rent. Okay. Similar to that, here are, is equals to your tax. Okay. So I'm writing another, I'm giving this as well a nickname. Okay. I'm also giving it a nickname rent multiplied by salary minus CMI minus rent is called as tax. Now, if I want to calculate my expenses, so EXP or expenses is equals to rent plus EMI plus gym. And we have also given this as a nickname that is tax. So plus tax right over here. And similar to that, if I want to calculate my savings, so S A V E save is equals to salary minus your EXP expenses. So that is, that is called as, so we are using variables. So these nicknames, okay, that you are able to see are called as variables. So now if your rent has been increased to 30,000 rupees, okay, your rent has been increased to 30,000 rupees. Instead of going through these 10,000 lines of code, what you have to do is you just have to come to this particular line of code, just where you have declared the value of rent. Okay. Where you have declared the value of rent, come there and change the value of rent to 30,000 rupees, change the value to 30,000 rupees. So wherever you have used the word rent, okay, inside of your code, wherever you have used the word rent inside of your code, uh, all of those places, the value of rent will be increased from 20,000 rupees to 30,000 rupees because you have changed the value itself. That is how variables work uh, in all the programming languages. Are you guys able to understand this? Please do let me know, guys. Are you guys able to understand this? Please do let me know. Are you guys able to understand this? Please do let me know. Now it is very simple to create a variable in Python actually. Okay. To create a variable in Python, let's say you want to pre create the variable called as rent in Python. You just have to write the name of the variable that is rent is equals to whatever the value that is it is containing that is 20,000. Okay. You can imagine this particular thing as a box called as rent. That has the value 20,000 inside of it. Okay. That has the value 20,000 inside of it. That is how you can think about variables. Okay. So let's go back to right over here. As we are able to see, we are creating a variable called as month. Okay. So month is equals to 12 month contains the value 12 inside of it. If I'm writing print month and I'm running it, it will print the value that is contained inside of the variable month. Okay. As you're able to see, it is printing out 12, not month, but the value inside of month that is 12 on our screen. Are you guys able to understand this? Please do let me know guys. Are you guys able to understand this? Please do let me know guys. Great. Okay. So right over here, I'm having a question for you guys. Let's say that you are having a is equals to three B is equals to a A is equals to a plus three. What is the value? So give me the answer of what is the value of a comma B. Okay. For example, if the value is 11 comma 22, write 11 comma 22. If the value of a is 11 and B is 22, write 11 comma 22 in the live chat guys. What will be the value of a and B after I have run these three lines of code guys? What will be the value of a and B after I have run this three lines of code guys? Some of you are saying 66, some of you are saying 36, cause some of you are saying 63, when the 6 and 3, 3, 6, 6, 6. These are the values that I'm able to see right over here in the live chat. Let's try to understand how this works. Okay. Whenever I'm talking about variables, you're not able to understand it. Think about the box. Okay. First you're having a is equals to three. Okay. So draw a box that's called as a, there's a value of three inside of it. Next we are writing B is equals to A. 
Now, please remember when a variable is on the left hand side, when the variable is on the left hand side, variable, it is a variable. It is the box that we are referring to. Okay. It is the box that we are referring to. Whenever the variable is on the right hand side of the equation, okay, RHS, sorry, LHS and RHS, right hand side of the equation, uh, whenever a variable is there, we refer to its value okay we refer to its value that it contains okay and not the box so when you are writing b is equals to a when you are writing b is equals to a b is a box okay and a is the value that is contained inside of a not the box a the value that is contained when i'm writing b is equals to a what it is telling is i'm taking out three out of the box from a i'm making a clone of that particular three okay a clone not the same three a clone of that particular three this three goes back inside of a and this three goes inside of a box called as b okay this three goes inside of a box called as b so now you are having a box a that contains the value three and you are having a box b that contains the value of three as well the next particular line that we are having is a is equals to a plus three right over here it is on the lhs so this refers to the box right over here it is on the right hand side so this refers to the value that it contains so again we are a having the box a and inside of it we are having 3 plus 3 that is 6 the final answer is 6 comma 3 okay that is the value of a is 6 and the value of b is 3 are you guys able to understand this please let me know guys those who are writing 6 comma 6 those who are writing 3 comma 6 are you guys able to understand this please let me know guys are you guys able to understand this? Please do let me know. Okay, so we'll stop here because I'm also not feeling that good today. I'm having a bit of uh, cold. Uh, no issues in that. I will just continue it from tomorrow. Right now, I'll be telling you guys what is the criteria for getting the certificates, the attendance criteria, how the attendance will be taken up on an everyday basis. All these points are very important for you to hear. If you are missing out on anything that I'm saying right now, there's a very high probability that you will not be able to receive these certificates. So please listen to me very carefully. If you are not listening to me, there's a very high probability that you are not able to receive the certificates. Okay. First of all, we are not affiliated with any company. Okay. We are not affiliated with companies that are named as Zuno or Virgio or Teachnook. We are not at all affiliated with any of these companies, guys. Okay. We are only DevTown and nothing else. The current bootcamp has been brought to you in collaboration with Google Developer Groups and Microsoft Student Learn Ambassador Programs only. And you will be getting the certificates via these two companies. I have shown you guys the certificates as well. If you guys remember, I will just show it to you once again. So the three certificates that you will be receiving at the end of uh, this particular bootcamp, I will be showing it to you guys right now. Give me a second, guys. Okay. So this is the certificate that you will be receiving uh, from the Google's end. Okay, certificate of completion for the backend web development bootcamp that happened. Uh, this is the certificate that you will be receiving from the Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador program. Okay, and this is the certificate that you'll be receiving via uh, DevTown itself. So these are the three certificates that you will be receiving at the end of this particular bootcamp. Okay. Now the criteria of getting these certificates that is what we are going to talk about right now okay first of all if you are not attending the session live you are not going to get the certificates that is something i am being very clear with okay the first particular certificate that is there is via devtown d-e-v-t-o-w-n the second cert set of certificates that you'll be getting is via microsoft I'm so sorry and Google. Okay, so the DevTown certificates will be given to only those students who will be having seven days worth of attendance. Now, how to give the attendance, how the attendance will be taken up. I'll be telling you guys after a few minutes, do not get hyper. Please be patient. I'm not running anywhere and either I'm going to leave like let you leave from the class. 
So please be patient with the same itself, guys. Okay, the Dev Town certificates will be given to those students who will be having seven days worth of attendance. That is hundred percent attendance. Okay, hundred percent attendance. Only those students will be able to get the Dev Town certificate. Now, what do I mean by this hundred percent attendance? Every single day, I, either I will be showing you a QR code, either I will be showing you the attendance link, either I will be telling you guys where the attendance link is, anywhere in the middle of the class, anywhere while teaching for just five seconds, I will be letting you guys know where the attendance form is. Now, the attendance form is a proper Google form that you will have to fill on a daily basis. Every single day, there will be a new form at a new location that only I know. And I'll be telling that in the middle of the class. So if you're not there in the class, if you're not listening to me all the time, you will be missing out on the attendance for that particular day. You will have to fill. So for example, the class is going on from seven o'clock to eight o'clock. Okay. Let me just uh, make sure that you guys are able to understand one thing. This is a YouTube video. This is a YouTube live video. If I'm going back to my channel right over here, Okay, let me just show it to you guys. Please listen to me very peacefully and very calmly. Okay, you don't have to like uh, worry about anything. Just listen to me carefully. So if you are able to see right over here on the video section, all the videos for all our previous boot camps are listed right over here. As you are able to see all the previous uh, boot camp videos are present right over here. So first of all, this is a YouTube video. You can open any video. You can pause the video. You can fast forward the video. You can stop the video at any particular point of time and watch it. Okay. So the video will be made available to you with a lifetime access. Okay. You don't have to worry about it, but, but. Like I said, the Google form, I'll be letting you guys know anywhere in the middle of the class. For example, the class will be from 7 to 8 or 7 to 8.30. Okay, 7 to 8.30. Okay, let's assume that 7 to 8.30. You will have 20 minutes. That is in this particular case, you will be having 8 to 8.20. Okay, only this much time to fill out your attendance form. Okay, you will have only 20 minutes to fill out your attendance form. Similar to that, right over here, you will be having from 8.30 Two nine, uh, sorry, eight uh, fifty to fill out your attendance form. Okay, you will have only twenty minutes at the end of the class to fill out your attendance form. Whenever I am telling you guys that okay, the attendance, this is your attendance link, or this is where the attendance link is. Mark the exact time at which I have told you guys where the attendance link is. Okay, and then after the class between eight to eight twenty or eight thirty to eight fifty, you have to fill up the attendance form. If you're filling it up uh, only after one minute late, okay, if you're filling it up at 8.25, your attendance for that day won't be counted. Your attendance for that day won't get counted. Are you guys able to understand this? Please do let me know, guys. Are you guys able to understand this? Please do let me know, guys. If you are filling the attendance form even five minutes late, okay, you will not be able to get the attendance for that particular day and your certificate is gone. You will not be able to receive the certificates. The reason is extremely simple for doing this, guys. The reason is extremely simple. See, if we are giving uh, the certificate to everybody, okay, without even attending the classes as well, the value of the certificates will go down. Okay, and we don't want that. If you are putting these certificates in your resume, they should add value to your resume itself. That is the reason why we have a very rigorous process of giving out these certificates. So that only those students who come to the classes every single day, who learn in the classes, are able to get the certificates as well. Okay, so for Dev Town, as I've already said, okay, those students will be having 100% attendance for all the seven days. Proper time uh, attendance, only they will be able to get the Dev Town certificate. Okay, see, these points are extremely important so that next time when you are coming back to me, you are not saying, sir, certificate name, or I've not got the certificate and attended the classes every single day. Now, you know the reason why you are not getting certificates, okay? You are filling the attendance form late. You are not attending the classes live itself. You are missing out on attendance. That is the reason why you are not getting the certificates itself, okay? The next particular thing is the Microsoft and the Google certificates. Now, like I said, at the end of this particular bootcamp, we will be having a project. 
okay a project based on machine learning which we will be doing it in the class itself i will co be coding the entire project and i will be giving you at least four to five days to complete the exact same project okay how to submit the project where to submit the project what is the project all these questions i'll be answering on the seventh day of the boot camp okay not right now on the seventh day of the bootcamp itself, I'll be answering all these questions for you. So you don't have to worry about it. So uh, those students will be having 100% attendance, okay? 100% attendance as well as the correct project submitted. So I will we'll be asking you to submit the project. How to submit the project? Where to submit the project? What is the project? I'll be letting you guys know on the seventh day of the bootcamp. Those students will be submitting the project as well. Those students will be having 100% attendance as well as the correct project submitted. Only those students will be getting the Microsoft and the Google certificates. Okay. Only those students will be getting the Microsoft and the Google certificate. Yes, you can add the certificate to your resume. You can add this certificate on your LinkedIn profile. That is the reason why even the project as well, you can put it up on your resume. That is the reason why we are having these boot camps. These boot camps have no cost associated with them. Okay, neither with the boot camp nor with the certificates. There is no prerequisite required for the boot camp. Everything will be teaching you from the scratch in the class from the at most basics. So you don't have to worry about it. Are you guys able to understand this? Please do let me know, guys. Are you guys able to understand this? This was the thing related to attendance. Okay. For those who are late in today's class, if you haven't heard the last 25 minutes of me speaking, okay, you, even if you're filling up the attendance form, you will not be able to get the certificates. There's a proper time at which you have to fill. There's a proper method that you have to follow to filling the attendance form. If you have not listened to the past 15 minutes of me talking, then you are, even if you are filling up the attendance form, you will not be able to get these certificates. So please, if you have not listened to me properly, you can scroll back the video and watch it again. Okay. Again, I'm explaining that we are not affiliated with any company named Zuno or Virgio or TeachNurk. Okay. We are not affiliated with them. We are only affiliated to Google and Microsoft. Okay. Okay, great. So now that you have understood this for today's class, I'll be telling you guys how to fill up the attendance. But uh, can you guys let me know? How, did you guys learn something new today? Did you guys learn something new today? Please do let me know, guys. Did you guys learn something new today in today's class? Please do let me know. Did you guys learn something new today, guys? Please do let me know. Okay, that's great. So if you guys are able to learn something new, I have a favor to ask from you guys. Like I said, uh, Deftown is a non-profit organization. We do not charge anything for these boot camps, neither for the certificates as well. The only thing... Uh, I'm so sorry, my cold is getting uh, too bad for me to handle. The only thing that we want from you guys is your love and your support. That's it. Nothing more and nothing less. Okay. The only thing that we want is your support and your love. Nothing more and nothing less. For that, I will request you guys to do two things. First, like this particular video and subscribe to the channel. There's a reason behind that as well. See, what happens is we have to showcase to these companies that whatever we are teaching you guys, these boot camps and everything are helping you guys a lot. And that is the reason why you guys are liking the video and subscribing to the channel as well. Now that you are showing your uh, support towards the community. In that particular way, we are able to approach these companies that, okay, so the students are interested in that. Please continue giving them certifications. So for example, Google and Microsoft, you are able to get certificates for free. Currently we are in talks with Amazon as well as Facebook to provide you guys with much more certificates for the future boot camps as well. For example, one of the previous boot camps we conducted in partnership with Postman, where students got uh, badges, some goodies as well as certificates via Postman. So that is only possible if you guys continuously show your support as well as your uh, partnership to this particular organization itself. So at the end of the day, you liking and subscribing this particular video gives you guys the advantage at the end by providing you guys with more number of certificates. 
so it will take less than a minute or so you can just scroll down below okay there are just two buttons one is a like button and a, a subscribe button just click on that okay let's take it an aim to have at least 3800 likes as well as subscribes on this particular video okay once we are able to do that i will be show you i will be showing you guys the attendance for today guys as well what do you say is that a fair deal okay 3800 likes as well as subscribes and then i'll be showing you guys the attendance link for uh, today's class okay uh, so you guys make sure that we are able to reach at least 3800 likes and subscribes until that point of time i'm making the attendance link for today's class guys okay so we'll have a deal right over here 3800 likes and subscribes and till that point of time uh, i'll be making the attendance link for today okay and i'm extremely sorry my uh, cold is getting like uh, way too bad for me to handle so uh, it will take me a minute or so to recuperate as well okay okay so let me take up the name from here we have almost reached 3378 likes and subscribes guys we are just 400 behind okay just 400 before i'm able to show you guys the attendance link for today let's take it an aim to complete that guys okay one more thing guys in the attendance form please make sure that uh, the email that you're using okay keep the email as the exact same email id for all the seven days do not use different email ids guys please listen to me very carefully while you are filling out the attendance form please use the exact same email id if you are using separate email ids we will not be able to identify your attendance please use the exact same email id for all these seven days worth of attendance the second thing is your full name right over here please use only your first name and your last name we don't want your entire family tree to be listed out right over here in this form your whatever certificate that you will be getting you'll be getting it on this particular name itself please make sure that there is no spelling mistakes please make sure that the name is just having a front uh, first name and a last name okay please do not put a lot of different names right over there otherwise it won't fit in the certificate okay so please make sure that you are able to understand this please fill up the entire stuff properly okay i will be showing you guys the attendance right now give me a second send link copy copy let me see how many likes and subscribes have we reached okay so we are still almost 120 short okay we are still almost 120 short guys so right now i'm going to show you a qr code okay uh shit okay i'm opening up the qr code guys give me a second so right now as you are able to see i have generated the qr code okay for today's class day one qr code right over here i want you guys to pause this particular video you can take up a screenshot of this particular qr code as well and scan it to scan this particular qr code you can use your uh like if you are having an ios device you can directly use camera if you are having an android device you can use the google lens to be able to do that you can download some apps from the app store or the play store that is able to scan some qr code scanning apps you can use your phone pay paytm google pay scanners as well to scan the qr code okay you can take up a screenshot again this is a youtube video you can pause the video rewind the video back you can take up a screenshot and scan it it is as simple as that okay if you don't again if you don't even have a scanner you can just download an app on your mobile phone okay the google lens app the phone pay ptm app the uh 
any qr code scanning app from the play store you can download it if you are still not able to understand it you can do a simple google search on how to scan a qr code and you will be able to achieve that as well so you don't have to worry about it okay once you have scanned this qr code it will open up a google form okay please fill out that form that will be the attendance day one link as you are able to see okay as simple as that the link won't be shared with anybody the link won't be shared with anybody okay so this is how you have to give your attendance you have to scan this qr code and give your attendance okay so that is how you will be able to give the attendance guys we are not going to send you guys any links or something like that if you want to scan the qr code this is the qr code that you can scan to submit the attendance you can start filling out the attendance form guys you can start filling out the attendance form guys Yes, you can start filling out the attendance form, guys. Please do not, uh, uh, please, uh, you can start filling out the attendance form. Okay. As you're able to see, we have already got 160 people who have already filled up the attendance form. So it is working absolutely fine. There is no issues with that. Okay. Okay, so uh, like I said, this is a YouTube video. You can pause the video, rewind the video back. Okay, there's no issues with that. Just have registered for machine learning bootcamp. Uh, will this registration be considered or not? Yes, uh, Karthi, Saksitna, it will be considered. You don't have to worry about it. You guys can leave the class as well. The class is also over. Thank you so much, guys, for attending today's class. Please be on time at 7 o'clock tomorrow onwards. Do not be late, okay? Otherwise, it uh, you will not be able to get the uh, attendance itself, okay? I've already shown you guys the attendance link guys. Thank you so much guys. You can leave the class. We have already done it. How to download the notes in the live chat. I've provided uh, pinned up the link for the notes right over here. You can access the notes from here as you're able to see in the live chat. There is the notes I have pinned up in the live chat guys. okay so we'll end the class right over here we'll meet tomorrow at seven uh o'clock once again to continue with the same guys okay do not worry about it and uh, yeah thank you so much guys thank you we'll meet tomorrow thank you so much guys thank you